Oh, this is how you got coffee and Eba. Coffee and Eba, let me hear. Inside. <laughs> Inside. Hello. So this is the blackboard, the chalkboard, the razor. Hey. And this is the highlighter. She, she's a class with his wife down the board with. What? How dare you? Don't ask questions. <laughs> so we just arrived at Auntie Lisa's place. She got a whole sorrel farmer back there. Mommy, now I can answer here. So now I can answer here. Oh look, you have a flower in here. Or this is a seed. There's a seed in there. Yeah. Gonna wanna grow that by. We're gonna make this thing, sir. I'll drink it. I'll drink it. Look, you got boar tree inside there. Is it a boar tree? Oh, nice. Planting it for any seed and sun to grow. Does girl wild, she said, right? Loose. Yeah. <clears throat> I think I borrowed a fine one. This is the fine board my mommy talked about. Oh, wait, no, this is the fine board she talked about. I'm going to grow there. Oh, you got pictorial. <laughs> Mommy, give me a seed. Mommy, where you broke open? I just want to so. see what little. Yeah. So this can't plant back now. This got dry. Yeah, when it's dry. Mm -hmm. For when you buy it, right? Uh -huh. If you buy it also, but it'll get bigger sometimes. So you can leave it out. Okay, okay. Oh, right? yeah. oh, I'm going to pick a few more. Oh, Mommy, what a ochre. That ochre? Yeah. What a ochre size? Yeah. It's so bad. I need to keep it. I've never seen ochre so big in my life. You know, buy your crop for, for lifetime. So anyone you can pay for it. The big size one. The big size one. When you when you hold it, you can ring it. Ring it. Try. Okay. Hey, mommy, I ring the thing. Ring, ding, 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 ding. So some of them have ants. Yeah. Yo. Hi. I ring it like this. When you have when you don't have a tool, but you got ants, so the ants are bite a little bit. <coughs> Show me your bag there. All right, so we're gonna continue picking, and then we're gonna show you the second step of making sorrow. Making sorrow. Goodbye. So you can come through from the public road. You turn left. I think there's an auto sale there. The big old building. Down there. Right next to Jake's Legs Jewelry. Welcome to her salon. So. As you can see, it's a cute little cozy area. Abra's wa watch peep and top. <laughs> that is that is included. <laughs> she does nails, hair, watch them. This too included. If y'all want peep and top services, we got it. You name it, we got it. Hi, baby. Hi. You want to tell me something about a job? No. You just got your hair down here. No. No. But your hair looks nice. Who does your hair? Your mommy? <laughs> your mommy. Abby peeping Tom over there. Say a name, that one, a wow. So, this is her salon's name, AM Beauty World. And this is her card. You guys can contact her. She is located at Lot 29 Tamron Street Alley, Trash Bay. So, I know not for y'all to sit down for the afternoon traffic hours and hours. It ain't gonna take long for make a quick stop in, get your hair done, get your nails done. Men, bring your ladies, come. Treat you special. She'll say, what is my like in my bag? Yes. So check her out. Hit her up on WhatsApp or Facebook. And come get your services done. Alright guys, so we're back home. I guess Selena preparing some seasoning there. We're going to make some beans and um, what are you going to make? Fish, meal, and a salad. Yeah, but as for now, let me show you these awesome sorrel that we picked today. Alright, so this is our sorrel. 
God, a whole piece broke off. <laughs> That's what our store looks like, guys. Anyway, I'm gonna have a shower first and then I'm gonna look after this. I just wash these thoroughly and there are different ways in taking up the seed. So the first way is you take a knife and you cut it alongside like one of the petal, like this, straight down. And then you make a circle around it like around the seed let me see if i can do it around the seed and show you yeah and there you go that's one way in taking out the seed and the other way you take a normal straw one of those um we call it the boba tea or a um, smoothie straw. So you take one of the syrup and right at the bottom here, you, where the stalk is, you press your straw there. You cut it in like. And you twist your straw like this and while, while you're twisting it, you push and that's it. That's how you get another way of taking the seed out. from the sorrel petal. Sometimes this one, this way might be a bit difficult if your straw is like a bit soft. Now for this, you need a sturdy straw because you see mine, it sort of like bent. So, I mean, All right, so this is like a really, really stiff straw. All right, see this one is kind of soft. So I'm gonna insert this, twist it a little. And while I'm twisting it, I'm giving it a push and there you go, it's out. So yeah, I think this way It's up to your preference, whether you want to use the knife or the straw. I think this one is more fun though. <laughs> there you go. This is like plain marbles. <laughs> so you see, you can still have fun in the kitchen while cooking. Look at how red my hand is. It's like a nice coloring. All right. So these seeds, I'm gonna put them to dry and then I'll show you how to replant them. So we went from this to this. To this. So I'm gonna give this a rinse one more time. And then I'm gonna add it to a pot of water along with my spices. These are the ingredients I use to make the sorrel drink. So over here we have our cleaned and washed sorrel. God, they look so nice. Smells good too. Yes. And um, over here I have a dried orange peel. You know, long ago we grandparents used to peel this orange and put it, hang it by the fireside. Well, I ain't got fireside, so I just hang it by my stove for now. Yes, anyway. Um, we have cinnamon stick, we have clove, we have ginger, 
and over here we have brown sugar well <clears throat> for me when i use white sugar to me it takes it takes the taste away from the sorrel so make sure you use brown sugar all right and some people would use the sugar and some people don't for instance with ard he doesn't use the sugar because of health reasons also sorrel has amazing health benefits uh, it's packed with vitamin a vitamin c good for your skin and many more you could google it and you guys can know uh, the benefits of the sorrel to my pot i'll add in about four cups of water basically four pints and here I have my cinnamon sticks. I'm gonna break them. And I'll add in my cloves. And a piece of my orange peel. So Selena went to desing. That's in Campbellville. And she saw these foreign ginger. Well, you know the foreign ginger, um, the skin is like really clean, right? Um, but our local ginger, you would have like sand or mud in the crease of the, of the ginger. Right. So if you're using local ginger, make sure that you peel the skin and wash them properly from the dirt and stuff. But since this is the foreign one, it's clean, I'm going to chop it up with the skin. I'll add in the chopped ginger also. And let this come to a boil. And let all those spices infuse with the water and then we'll add our sorrel. To so, while my water coming to a boil, I just came in front just to relax. Oh, this place is so hot. Anyway, that sorrel drink will be so refreshing. I know it's not Christmas time in Guyana. In Christmas time is when we would make our sorrel drink. But seeing that the sorrel is in season... Why not? Place hot. Let me refresh myself. Let me make a little sorrel drink and enjoy. Anyway, oh my god, what is thing face? The Anyway, where are we watching this on Netflix? Anyway, you could go on Netflix and you could watch Damsel. It's interesting, it's nice. Yeah. My kitchen smell like Christmas. Mm, Christmas in March. Yay. All right. So I got like about a pound here. That's why I add that much water and spices. So I'm going to add our sorrel to the pot. Look at that red color. Oh my God, so vibrant. All right, so I'm gonna give this a stir. See how we walk, I already get its color, the red color. And I'm gonna leave this to boil for about maybe 10 minutes. All right, so after about 10 minutes, this is what it looks like. You could leave it for a few hours and then strain it. Four hours later. 
Okay, so this is what my sorrel drink look like. So with the sorrel husk, you can make jam, you can use it to make cakes and many other stuff. But I'm not gonna do that today. I'm just making my sorrel drink. So I'm gonna strain this into my pot like this. And then to get more juice and, and more flavor out of this, I'll add some more water, mash it, and then strain it again. So basically it's like rinsing the husk. With my clean hand, I just wash my hands. I'm just gonna squish these up like this. Then I'm gonna add in my water. And I'll give this like a, a wash, a rinse. to strain it again this is just to ensure I get most of the juice from the sorrel Alright, this is what a sorrel drink looks like. I just love the natural red color. Now notice I didn't add no essence. Reason being, I added spice and the, um, the clove and the orange peel. That kind of spiced it up a little. So I want the natural flavor. And you know, with essence, it's like an extract and whatnot. So I'm gonna just leave that out and use my fresh stuff. Also, I didn't add sugar to this. It's kind of sour, it's like this, this sour guy and a cherry. If you taste it, that's the flavor you'll get like. However, I'm just gonna add ice to this and then put it in my fridge. Remember, if you want to add sugar, you can add your sugar, but I'm not going to add no sugar. It don't matter. It's your preference. So you either you want it sweet or you want it sour. So I have a glass container here, and I'm going to store this away in my fridge until whoever is ready to take a glass and drink. Another thing my family would do is that they take um, honey and when they take a glass of this they add like a teaspoon honey they add like a teaspoon honey in their glass and they mix it just to sweeten it
all right notice i didn't sweeten mine with the brown sugar i mean it's up to your preference here i have some pure honey that i bought from the highway up Sue's Dyke. so what me and my family we normally do when we make drink we don't use the sugar we take like a teaspoon of honey and we add it in our our drink to give it that sweetness And that's it that's how i make my sorrel drink remember everyone cooks differently everyone makes stuff differently um this is how i make mine so cheers <sighs> refreshing Right? Where is Miss Lynch? Huh? Yes. Where is Miss Lynch? I don't know. We still gotta buy tickets yet. We still gotta buy snack. And Miss Lynch is nowhere to be seen. How about if we go and watch a movie and left Shalom? That is why I was thinking. We were going to Perfect. As a plan. <laughs> so it was Nari for job to video us when we buy the tickets. Oh my god. But she didn't. No, she Uh-uh. She didn't. I gave she that task. In the meanwhile, I, I tell him if you were moving, want to see a Nari for she forget. I'm just going to blame cheese. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so it's almost six hours and Miss Lynch is not here as yet. And the movie starting at yeah, 7 o'clock. So we got to sit and wait. Like two hungry people. Do you eat anything? Nope. I'm waiting on Miss Lynch. Imagine if she was me pilot, right? She would make me fly. <laughs> <laughs> Hey my beautiful gems, how are you guys doing? Hope you're having an amazing day wherever you are. So today is Saturday and my sisters are like, come here we go watch a movie, you know? So they know that I wanted to watch a new movie called Teri Batume El Sabu Jaji, alright? It's a nice movie. And um, I'm here at Mokitang Mall and they are already here and abusing this the whole lot of the day and I can't reach it so I'm actually in a rush let's go meet them <laughs> look you guys can see one of them upstairs they're already waiting on me patiently <laughs> One in Manchester, and the other one in New York. So 
Hopefully, all we can catch up one day and you know have a good time and watch um, movies and, and eat food and dance and drink and everything. Yeah. You want to say hello to anybody? You don't want to say hello to your hobby? We got a baby, you know. Yeah, the home he did. We sit here. They've been for babysitting. <laughs> yeah, so we just want to say thanks to our husband. So let us come out and have a good time, you know? Listen, when you're late, you must ask what time now. What you look for you this game? Sorry. Ah, they look proper, like me. <laughs> so I got us? What sauce you like? I like the relish. Relish and honey mustard. Can you put some relish in here for her? no honey mustard. Look over there. Right over there. Yeah, put. I like relish, guys. I like my little pickle, you know? My ketchup? No, no ketchup. That's it for me. That's when you get fried chicken and chips. This is how happy is being, you see? I think that's it. Let me go. I know, right? I, I got a ticket here. Three tickets. Good night. Hi, God. Yeah, me back from me was for fast tonight. Because you have nothing in your hand. Let's see, I got a. Shake up the brains. Shake up the brains there. Like you don't start already. Hold on, hold on. It's a joke. <laughs> it's not a girl laugh, eh? Hold on, light action. Now, bear wait long for that. The uncle put on the light. GPL? For us. <laughs> it's safe for us. Put on the light. Ah, uh, but girl, I have to get up. I've been asked to see for us. <laughs> Oh my god, that's the song for my mother. Wait. Just finished watching the movie. I enjoyed it so much. I can't wait for part two. Anyway, if you are going to watch the movie yourself, it's really nice. Thank you guys for joining us on this little Saturday afternoon adventure of me and my sisters. Saturday night. Saturday night. She always late, so it's Saturday night. The still It's afternoon for us. You're going for the YouTube for us. Okay. See you guys on the next adventure. <laughs>